Turn turn off the lights. Use headphones. Don't don't sleep. Hey hey, hey folks, I'm Grimwit. This is Frontiers of the Mind. We are about to go off the rails. Let's go off the rails. This should be off the rail area. And uh, I'm going to press this <laughs> until I fall asleep. But you're not supposed to sleep. So, uh, I, I was talking about bouncing around. I think in this particular case, we do need to go with sequentially. And there has been some showing that going through the first section of this, you, you had to go through kind of sequentially, sort of. It's been one hell of a ride just talking about the Maze Master show. Um, I suspect we're not going to be talking about the Maze Master show, but about production of the show. We'll likely see a lot less of um, of stuff uh, they took from Nightmare. But it's been pretty good, not going to lie. So let's get into Third Eye Productions, or Third Eye Pictures. <sighs> the information given in this section, to a certain extent, spec is to a certain extent speculative. It discusses the doings of a certain J redacted and the different groups he supervised. The Self Bureau, the Dream Clinic, and at the time of the events, Third Eye Pictures. Okay, my theory is they sacrifice each jester to the meat room after a couple of sessions. Does, does the meat room... No, I had something, but then it's gone. I was going to make another, does this clown taste funny to you joke? And I just, oh. Jay redacted scandal personal, uh, scandalous personality and his different aliases, not to mention the eccentric gossip about him, have all blurred the entire parts of his uh, biography. According to certain elements from our investigation, this individual... No known as James, Jeremy, Jacob, Jasper, thus the name Jay, came from Wales. He could be around redacted years old today. If this person was indeed identified by, by several witnesses who spent time with him, there would be no trace of Jay or his aliases in the British Administrative Archives. Five years after the events, a certain number of former members have accepted to speak out, enlightening us cons concerning a few elements about their experiences. Experience. God damn. I'm not a good reader. This looks cool. Movie production. TV production. Was there a Maze Master movie? Let's start with origin and precepts. The Self Bureau, the Dream Clinic, and the Prague Years. I like that the guy in the Prague Years is wearing one of those hats that they always have. Cap has one of these hats, by the way. Uh, for, for YouTube, I guess Cap is my brother. Um, anyway, Self Bureau. We could find no traces of Jay, who was known as Jacob at the time, before he arrived at Cambridge University to study psychology. He attended the course delivered by Devin Kay, who quickly became his mentor. I guess this is Devin Kay? Oh my god, what happened to your eyes? As a specialist of altered states of consciousness, he Targed? Togged? Is that supposed to be taught? Can I really not read English? J, the fundamentals of parapsychology. Are there fundamentals of parapsychology? What are the fundamentals of parapsychology? We ignore the true extent of their collaboration, but it became more than an academic one. Why are we ignoring this? Jay would spend all his time in his teacher's lab as he had to retake a year on account of his many absences. Uh, where we're going, we don't need eyes. I think it's, we don't need eyes to see is the full quote, but yes, I agree. Four years later, Devin Kay was diagnosed with a rare disease and left the academic world. Lynx disease. You, you don't want... 
You, you, you don't want Lynx disease, but you do want to get rid of it. Jay was described by his classmates as one of the best in the in their years in their year group, but also as the strangest one. He was keeping his other classes for this professor. Maybe there was something going on under the table, you know what I mean? Maybe some, you know, just saying. Uh, why is there a picture of a dentist in this year? I don't know. Why does this man have a computer for a head? Yeah? I don't know. No, we can go back to that. Just enjoy this picture of a guy exploding. For instance, he had no doubt about the scientific validity of extrasensory perception, ESP, and the models of their practical application. He was often described as an unfriendly man, and yet little of the group of students would always spend time with him. Well, um, it doesn't seem to relate to psychology at all. Look, the, the study of teeth is an important subject when dealing with parapsychology. Those teeth could be haunted. Have you seen teeth move around like in, um, I think it's, I think it's Conroy and his musical teeth. No, his dancing teeth. Shit, it's been a while since I've watched Monty Python. After their bachelor's degree, they created together a student society called the Self Bureau. ESP was is well respected uh, psychology and well respected dentistry. Due to the nature of their experiment, which the university had never wanted to reveal, the young members of the bureau were sent down right before the PhD Viva. I gotta look up some things. Send down right meaning. The meaning of send down is to suspend or expel from a university. Ah, they were sent down right before their PhD Viva. Referring to the dentist and thing, doom like, oh God, this is going to get confusing real fast as I'm talking to you and you're talking to each other and you should talk to each other, but like, anyway. Here's a man with a mustache. It's a pretty good mustache. The members of the Bureau moved to Birmingham, and there was no sign of them for a while. I think that's where Lo Loki is? The Dream Clinic. We're finally able to track them down three years after the Cambridge incident at the time Jacob was called Jasper. The Cambridge incident. They had settled into a medical center in Birmingham suburb. Internally, they were called the Dream Clinic, and they used uh, they used the building both as a living and workplace. Okay, I cannot tell if this is AI and just heavily dithered, or if this is an actual photo and heavily dithered. And the problem is that, really, there's so many old British photos from the 80s and 90s that you wouldn't need AI if you're going to dither it this much. Cat, do you have a problem? There. I need to fill my drink. I've switched to water. I just poured that drink straight into my lap. Mm. In this clinic, they conducted several experiments related to REM sleep and to the psychic states of inconsistent consciousness. Inconsistent consciousness, doesn't this have to do with, um, it sounds like the university found out what the fuck they were doing for their PhD study and was like, oh god, fuck, no, get out of here before we get sued. That sounds pretty accurate. So, inconsistent consciousness is something to do with uh, anesthesia because so the brain has a certain rhythm 
and that's the way that it talks to each other. Uh, some refer to this as like maybe the default network sets a rhythm that the brain moves on, and anesthesia will, anesthetic, sorry, <coughs> will uh, disrupt the rhythm. So what's actually happening when you're under anesthetic, your brain has ceased talking to parts of itself. This is extremely frightening because it's very much like my mom went through this and she said uh, it was done poorly at one point and she said it was like crashing onto the, uh, crashing upwards through the surface of an ice lake. Uh, but th there was nothing in between the time the anesthetics went out and her waking up. There was no dreams. There was nothing because the brain just stopped talking to itself, right? So that's inconsistent consciousness. The treatment, uh, the treatments were free, and the candidates to the experiment were paid. Cool. Nasal canal monitoring airflow, microphone to record snoring, electrode monitoring brain wave eye movement and muscle activity, electrode monitoring movement, respiratory belt to monitor breathing. Finger oximeter, monitoring blood oxygen levels. I've resisted Anastasia once and it was not like that for me. Um, oh, you, you resisted or no, I don't know. Consciousness is weird. I do know that that's roughly why anesthetics work. I do not like the idea of general anesthetics. It frightens me quite a bit. I would prefer, uh, um, what is it called? Region, regional and local, local anesthetics, which is why I was awake for the entirety of having my tooth sawed out of my mouth, my wisdom tooth. And there's nothing quite like breathing in vaporized tooth in your mouth as it's happening. Pretty good, pretty good. The high pitched whine of a saw pulling parts of your bone out of your jaw is pretty great. I'm gonna say I recommend everyone do that. Yeah, I just thought the effect to see what would happen. That sounds like you. We cannot explain how the group had managed to find such an important source of funding at the time. I, don't, I mean, that's pretty easy to find funding for this shit. Rich men are scared to die. For five years, Jasper and his team carried out their research without anyone noticing. Apparently, something happened in the 1980, in 1981 since the group split up that year and Jasper disappeared again. Thanks to the testimony given by Terence B., we were able to trace the nature of the research conducted by Jasper, but also the reason behind the... Is that supposed to be decisions? I thought decisions had a had a C in it. <coughs> of the group. The dissension? Dissension. The dissension of the group. Okay. During the first two years, the team made a major breakthrough. Uh, decisive for the forthcoming event. Okay, we can't show this on YouTube, but I will. I'm going to see if YouTube, like, censors me. They argued they had identified a dream dimension containing spatial persist persistent places and zones which could be... L okay. This ties directly into Maze Masters now. The idea that th what the kids were walking through during this experiment was dream dimensions, such as the purple dimension. Or that's why production crew could not necessarily control which rooms were coming up next because they were walking through dreams, right? That's the implication, yeah? Oh, sure, a hand just sticking it right out of my face. Good thing my third eye is fucking huge. Third eye envy. The, the starting point of their discovery was the case of Norma T., a young woman suffering from night terrors since childhood. Fabulous. It's a it's a healthy thing. Usually brought on by trauma, but we're assuming paranormal stuff is happening here too. 
Thanks to an ultrasound therapy treatment paired with a hypnotic suggestion, Jasper managed to help the patient. Good. Here, here's some pictures about it. But Norma became subject to reoccurring... Is that oneric visions or oneric visions? Which had lasted several weeks. Okay, let's look this up. Define oneric. Uh, relating to dreams or dreaming. Literally, she had dreamlike dreams. She had dreamlike visions while she dreamed, is what it's saying. Jasper used the same treatment on other volunteers in the clinic, and the results exceeded their expectations. They experienced the same visions, and they had become systematic despite... Systematic? Really? Uh, despite the complete isolation of the patients. I think what it's saying is that they're sharing dreaming, right? At, the fir at first, the images were peaceful. Good for them. A little bridge leading to a calm sea uh, might be might be dreams while awake, oniric states during waking. There's a name for that, hypnogon hypnogonic, hypnogonic. Hypnogogic. Hypnan, sorry, hypnagogic. A hypnagogic state is the state uh, where you are conscious in a state of dreaming. It is essentially when, have you ever woken up and you're not quite awake, so you're still dreaming while you're on your feet? Uh, I have done this. I've done this to a point where I've stayed up for like 24 hours straight uh, and dreamed that I was in a different location while I was going through my routines. So my body was acting purely out of habit. I was very young. I can't do this now. My body was... Uh, going purely out of habit, but my brain was hallucinating the entire time of what was happening and why I was doing the things I was doing. My eyes still understood that was a shower that I was taking. My skin still felt the warmth of the water. My brain was in space. A majestic tree bathed in light. And as they walked further into the dreamlands, the visions became more symbolic and even mystical. The candidates mentioned visions showing a huge eye staring at them and a face of a cyclopean size. So, so giant faces like walls, like wall entity faces, huh? Ah, uh, you see where you're picking up what they're putting down? All of the candidates explained that after a little while, they would see a sort of tunnel or arch shaped by trees. At the end of this strange corridor, a door or gateway would appear. Okay, that's a Magritte reference. As they get close, as they got closer to this gate, the candidates would show signs of. Technocardia. Some of them would be subject to vomiting. Okay, let's look up technocardia. Define tachycardia. It sounds something uh, heart-related. Yep. A heart condition where is the heart beat faster than normal, usually more than 100 beats per minute. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm, I'm subject to doing this all the time when I wake up. Shit. Um... With, uh, that's a that's a head case. That's a head case right there. That's a case for a head. Head case. We suppose this is the moment when the group started to split. Jasper and two of his most faithful followers really wanted to see what was behind that door. The other members expressed a certain un unease concerning the uncontrolled protocol and possible effects of the candidates who had not given their full consent. Despite those dissensions, one last experiment was conducted on 10 or so candidates who were given an anti-nausea medication. That's a toilet. And that's a noose. 
All the subjects said that after stepping through the door, they experienced a stream of traumatizing or nightmarish images. It could have been a case of phobic hallucination from traumatic memories about or about death. They're all laughing. <laughs> Trying to say ack ack quickly. It's not working. The dreamers mentioned a huge house lost in the middle of an empty or sinister health. The assumption is that they're all dreaming the same thing still, right? The dreamers saw this house independently. Once they had stepped into the house, the candidates would see stairs and a checkered pattern floor. The house seemed empty, but they all mentioned a heavy feeling in the chest and a metallic taste in the mouth. Among the three candidates who climbed up the stairs, two of them mentioned their meeting with a young girl standing among the two flot wooden flotsams. But flotsam is just debris, right? When she spoke, no words came out of her mouth, only a strange sound of wood cracking and breaking. Okay, that's creepy as shit. Jesus Christ. The last witness mentioned a meeting with a spectral entity carrying a glad gladiator's sword. What? And he explained that he woke up the moment he tried to get closer. Evidently, the candidates were deeply troubled by this experience. The peaceful visions had given way to unclear but terrifying scenes. Some of them left the clinic in the middle of the night without even taking their belongings. Be rough. Um, the descendant part of the group threatened to call the police. What? Why? An argument broke out and some of the members came to blows. Jasper ran away at the dawn, at dawn with his partner and two other adepts. They took with them a few files, some materials, and remaining cash. Oh, I don't get the beep here, this help. Did I get it previously? Yeah, but not on this one. Hmm. No. Okay, and so finally the prog years. Look at this key ring. That's a strong key ring. I like this key ring. I'm going to keep this key ring. We only know a few things about this period, but several compatible elements confirm that Jay and his acolytes went into hiding somewhere around Prague. They became extremely discreet and it would seem that they were invited by an acquaintance on site. Which site? What site? Prague site? We found no trace of rent or bills under their names, but after the fire at Network 7 Studio, we did find a few pictures of Jay's office. This is Jay's office? Jay's got a big-ass office. There's a tree in the middle of it. Look at Jay's office. Fuck's sake. That big ass office. Got a house in his office. They apparently lived in reclusion. However, a great number of parcels was delivered to the address of their living place. The inquiry established that they contained books. A number of volumes is likely to have represented Jay's important esoteric collections found in the studio. See archive books. Oh shit, do we want to go to books next? Hang on. Um, I need to make a note real quick. We're going to see... Well, no, this these are books. Books in Jay's office. What was his name when he was working for Maze Masters? Was his name Jasper or was that the... That was the Dream Academy where he was Jasper. Uh, some of these books got tore up. That's bad. Oh my god. What's wrong with your face? Two years ago, an independent journalist discovered a book written by a couple during their prog during their prog years. 
but published in the United States. Okay, so there were a couple of adepts that Jay left with. That's what they, they're talking about. The two people that had all the information from the Dream Clinic was um, wrote some books and had them published in the U.S. Entitled Dreams Transform Your Life Through the Power of Your Dreams. Poor title decision. Also, this needs to be all capitalized. It introduced different techniques related to dream control. Here are a name of a few chapters. Uh, I have done some meditation to the point where I have become um, vivid dreaming, I think it's called, where you control your dream. It is not as pleasant as you think it would sound like. Uh, I didn't I didn't care for it, so now I just go to sleep normally. I Occasionally I get there accidentally if I meditate too deeply. Fuck. Um, but I'm supposed to relax and just roll with it when it happens. I never do. Pairing imagery tree. Taking a mental self-portrait. The third eye. Identifying your personal archetype. Oh, beg my pardon. Building a house of dreams. Sketching dreams. Giving dreams a little kiss. Dragging into the unconscious. I like that one. Learning to fly. On the dream highway. Posting a visual question. Building a dream temple. Setting your dream self free. Nose. I've never seen a nose like that. I've, I've, I've looked at noses. Okay, and that's this. So now, um, we get to TV production, right? Lucid Dream. Thank you, Doomlad. Lucid Dream. Uh, if I had to remember it, I won't remember it. Um, it's it's kind of... Oh, I'm dreaming. Uh, and then I wake up. Like, I break out of the meditation, and it's really annoying. Apparently, it's one of the gateways into the jhanas, and I'm no good at it. I would like, before I die... To hit some kind of jhana, I don't need enlightenment, but hitting that perfect point of emptiness might be interesting. Good, good uh, life goal for an old man. TV production. Oh my God, it's Michael Myers. We are we are going we are going to die. I lucid dream often. I mean, like, do you like it? Because I, I find I don't like... I like being for the ride. All right, Michael Myers. Network 7. As soon as he came back to the United Kingdom, Jay put up a lot of money in different kids' TV programs on cable channels. Here's a few noteworthy examples. Uh, once I know I'm dreaming, I don't wake up unless I want to. Uh, that might be it, because I want to wake up when I realize I'm dreaming. Uh, actually, I might be dreaming now, and I'm ple pleased enough to, to not know. Um, the Crankies Electronic Chromic. Galloping Galaxies. Ghost Train. The Computer Program. That's really generic. But actually, you know what? A lot of British TV shows, especially for children, were really generic. The Alphabet Zoo. I like that one right there. That one's cool. That's very 70s, but all right. The Trap Door. Did we mention a trap door at some point? Terror Towers. Alias the Jester? Alias? Alias the Jester? I'm totally going to be drawing this later. I want to draw Elias the Jester. 
I didn't have to meditate or anything to do it either. I just do it. I think it's the other, like, okay, so... Uh, so behind the scenes with meditation. The reason why Buddhist pr uh, monks only get away with four hours sleep is because they're also doing eight hours of meditation. And meditation, deep meditation, takes the same restfulness as sleep. It's not efficient. It is not as efficient, which is why it's eight hours of meditation. So essentially, they're sleeping for a good eight hours of rest, but they're doing it, uh, they're doing part of it in the least efficient way possible. Point being, when you sleep and you lucid dream, you're meeting the guy who's meditating to the point where he's lucid dreaming in the middle. Pretty cool. Okay, movie productions. Between 1990 and 1995, Jay funded through his affiliate companies called the Third Eye Movies, eight feature films, thanks to benefits collected with Maze Masters. Most of them were immediately released on VHS and they can no longer be found. Although all of them are horror movies, we can notice in the course of the, of the years a shift towards an increasingly gory Oh, God, we're going to get nasty here, guys. And deviant content. A surprising choice for a production studio specializing in kids' TV shows. You can click on the tapes to see some of the pho uh, photograms from each movie. Photograms? Is that, is that a term? Could LD stuff be doing lots of brain stuff like programming? Um... I mean, you don't need to do dream work to program your brain, right? Well, once again, maybe it's uh, it's it's meeting the the dreamer and the meditator meeting in the middle kind of thing. Cause that's like what meditation is about. It's watching your brain, seeing how it behaves, trying to weed out useless thoughts. And I do mean useless. I mean things like. Oh, being, em I am, so, hooray, I am embarrassed for something that happened in high school. I'm 50. I'm 50 and I'm embarrassed for something that happened in high school. God damn, I'm, that's such a useful thought. That's not a useful thought. So you weed it out, right? You watch it happen and then you say, oh, there it is. I don't need that. You you can go away. I, w I won't use you. Thank you. you. You were useful when I was 20. I am now 50. So you can program it, but... If you lose a dream, you might get into a deeper set. Just, just, but, but fucking around with your brain like that, I don't know, it makes me worry. I, I, maybe that's why I don't like it. Let's look at some horror movies. We have... Oh, there's the meatballs. There's the meatballs. Okay, we have Prison Kill, Evil Eye, Dead Planet, Brain Feast. I like the sound of that one. Meatballs, Death Trap. Every every horror movie studio has to have Death Trap, Dark Hole, and The Meat Man. You guys got a preference? What are we watching tonight? Also, this is fun. I'm having a good time, guys. What horror movie were we watching first? Whoop, I just poured water straight into my lap again. I'm... I fucked around and not had issues. Oh, cool. Meat. So we're doing meat balls or meat man? We have the meat. <laughs> I'll take it under advisement. One of the meats. Let's write this down. Meat. Four words. It's on underneath bone. In dreams, same. I've done some messed up stuff in my dreams. I do messed up stuff in my head every morning. <laughs> Meanwhile, a lot of my dreams are not me in it. It's kind of more of a defined video game protagonist I'm stepping into. I've done that too, yeah? Uh, why not right? I'm going to assume you mean the right meat. So we're going to do the meat man first. Here's the meat man. Let's look at this. Oh, it's just images. Good. Excellent. So here's some meat, guys. You guys like meat face, right? 
Oh, that's so much freakier than what you guys are getting. Like, I'm getting 4K freaky with this. Jesus Christ. Is that a face? I honestly can't tell. I can see some... Um... What... what uh, Cronenberg-like teeth over here. We're getting 160p. That's good. That's a good P to get. Okay, that's just that's just flesh. There's just flesh here. That is Cronenberg. That is this is not AI. That's something from a Cronenberg film. These might just be close-ups of a Cronenberg film. Flash. Yeah, I know, right? Um, let's shoot for Evil Eye next, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to. I'm taking suggestions. That's an eye. Oh boy, that eye's got eye beams. Ah, melt that man. Okay, that's not an eye. That's a Wendigo. Uh, sure. Sometimes you gotta have a fat, bald man. Uh, looks like a certain Doctor Who creature. Oh, no! My head! Where has it gone? That's nice and spooky. Laser eye, yes. Um, there's not much here left. So since you guys haven't suggested, I guess we'll do meatballs because we, we were going through meat. Oh god, ever watched the society? I've heard of it. It's one of the it's on my list of things to watch, but I don't like watching things alone. This meatball is strangling a man. This man is being strangled also. By a meat that's a woman, sorry. This woman is being strangled also by a meatball. It's the meatball. We saw this in um this kind of creature, right? We've seen little flashes of this in Maze Masters. We could do a watch stream. We could do a watch stream. That's a brain. That's not a meatball. But I appreciate the uh, background more than anything. And the fact that she's wearing one of those secretary skirts, I don't know the name of them. Okay, that's not just a meatball. That's a meat smile. Uh, it's the it, same meatball. Is this from something? Is this from Critters? What is this from? <laughs> this guy's a goofy meatball. Christopher Lambert is the Lord of Meatballs. Yo, my book to fucking Christ. Where's the right emote? There we go. Pencil skirt. Is that what they're called? I've been drawing them all the time. People ask for secretaries all the time in my art, so. Pencil skirt. So we've done Meat Man, Evil Eye, Meatball. Let's do Dark Hole. Um, I feel like this sometimes where I'm just chained to my work. Uh, that's a woman. I can spot him most of the time. Okay, it could be the statue or it could be that one monk from Harvester. Most of this woman is here. Ew. Wait, is that... That's, is that Carrie Fisher? Oh God, what have you linked me? Infamous butthead scene. Yeah, I've seen the butthead scene. I'm not posting that here. Uh, it's a it's a fridge. The eponymous dark hole. And that's it. The prison kill, dead planet, brain feast, death trap. <laughs> so, he was murdered in a prison which started shooting out shower blood okay cool 
Oh yeah. Yes. Yet Y E S chain gun hand. Yes. Um, I'm assuming he's ODing on prison kill. This man is being beaten by prison kill. Man is also being beaten by prison kill. I can't tell what's going on here. Uh, might as well go with dead planet. Aliens. We have them. Wait a second. Wait a second. Motherfucker! Can I get this in a full screen? No. no I need a larger version of it. There it is. So this movie is called Bad Channels. It is a production by Moonlight Pictures. The idea was to make the entire movie a music video, right? It's, it is known to me because the people who scored it was, was Eric Bloom one of them? Blue Oyster Cult. Blue Oyster Cult scored the movie, all right? Which is why I know about it. This is a very distinct scene where the aliens are kidnapping hot chicks That'll do basically cage dancing for them. You can't just do that. Well, I guess you can do that because you did it with uh, Nightmare. Holy shit. So this movie is also bad channels. <laughs> they took scenes from bad channels. How could you do this? I can't believe you've done this thing. You didn't even hide it. We're getting to some copyright territory now. Spaceship powered by cage dancers. Oh shit, that's what I'm gonna do after Halloween, doom lad. Here's a brain. How much you wanna bet it's from bad channels. Sorry, wrong emote. I need to be angry about this. I didn't like the movie. I loved the soundtrack. I did not like the movie. Uh, they just reuse this, and this, and this. Just reusing film? Brain feast. Uh, how much you want to bet we're going to see uh, a scene from, uh, what is it? Blood Sucking Freaks, I think is the name of the movie. Uh, llama. Some trauma for the llama. Spaghetti and meat brains. The Trancers. Actually, I think this is from Trancers. They just have a thing from Moonlight Pictures? And we saw this guy in, I think, Meat Man or Meatballs. Okay, I'm calling it. They're just taking, they're just taking images from old Moonlight Pictures. Yeah, that's what they did. Uh, did we do Death Trap? I think that's the last one. <laughs> the furries get into everything. The goths get into everything. And the furry goths are shot. I withhold any jokes. Botox gone wrong. That's another good one. Dr. Doom wants to talk to you about your healthcare plan. All right, that's all of them. We've seen all, we've seen all of them. That was, you know, fun. Uh, controversies. Okay, no controversy. That was all Third Eye Pictures. The, nest, the rest of it is theories, archives, networks. We're still going. Um, this is a good stopping point, so I'm going to make a cut here for YouTubes. Okay, YouTubes, you go away, because everybody else, you stay. They let their pirate flags wave high.
Yeah? Well, I didn't pay any money for this, so it could be considered like a work of fandom. Oh shit, I'm still recording.